Welcome. This is part two of text frame options. So say you had a scenario like this where you had wanted copy inside a frame but you wanted equal space around. If these two are separate elements, very hard to control. Anytime new copy came in you'd have to remeasure everything. So the way to do that, select your text frame, I'll give it a quick stroke, then I'll go command B for my text frame options and right here in the inset I want to lock the, the measurements, so now I can just keep adding. I can put in a specific value or just keep clicking till I get the look I want. And now it's all in one nice text frame, no margin for error. So another way to use it is Command B is your vertical alignment. It's either at the top, the text, or it could be centered, or it could be bottomed. Or you can even use Justify, which is top and bottom wouldn't use that very often, but it's there. Uh, another really common scenario to use this would be if you have a disclaimer and it's supposed to be at the bottom of the page. Now I can drag my box and line it up to the bottom, but if any copy was added, I wouldn't have that alignment anymore. So if I leave the box right on my guide, again Command B, in this case I would want to just align to the bottom. That way if any text is added to create more lines, we maintain that bottom alignment. Another feature is, say you have text wrap. You have a, a picture here and you're wrapping this copy around it. But for whatever reason, you don't want that to occur. So again, click on the frame, Command B, right under here, it's called Ignore Text Wrap. You hit that, and even though this has a text wrap on it, the text will not be affected by it. That's it for part two. Join me for part three.